High school prepared me for college in like many ways. Everybody was so tightly knitted here, like we were actually truly a brotherhood out here. And I learned what it meant to be a great teammate rather than just being a great individual, which was important. I've definitely learned that uh, nothing comes easy and that like if you really want something, you have to work hard for it. And just because that you fail at something in the moment, it doesn't define your entire you know, character as a person and you can usually bounce back and, and be better for next time. Mr. Fitzpatrick, sorry I didn't tell you I was coming. I, oh my gosh, sorry buddy. You look, you look great. Uh, athletics played a huge role for me in high school, just on my character development. It helped me make a lot of friends and uh, definitely helped me build my confidence for who I am today. I think um, definitely if I could go back, I'm, I'm very happy with where I ended up going. Like Syracuse was the right school for me. But when I think about all the other options that I had linked with Syracuse, I do wish that I narrowed it down a little bit better. Um, it was very tough for me because I felt like I was doing everything in a rush. I, you know, I was trying to get the ACT grades. I was trying to make sure I had my marks. And I didn't do all my visits at the universities. I only did two. So I feel like, um, I kind of wish I started the process a little bit earlier. I mean, it's tough. At least back in the day when I was in school, it used to be just like word of mouth. Like hopefully you know somebody that went to the States and that would kind of be the gateway to at least be introduced to a coach that you want to talk to. Um, you know, I have, from my friends, like even kids that were younger than me, they would always come to me about like, how do you approach a coach? Like how do I get a coach's attention? And you know, for some kids that might be difficult, but it's hard to get noticed, especially if you're trying to go to the States. So um, definitely think streamline, like they definitely know how to navigate those areas better than I would. Here I am. I won two uh, CISA medals. And there's there's Mr. Fitzpatrick, and there's Mr. Bergen. Yeah, there I am. All the guys in my class. And then here I am again. And my locker was this one. One one eight five. So after every practice, we would. Uh, we would take an ice bath, which is probably, I don't know if it's good for you, but we take an ice bath every day after practice. And we, uh, Tuesdays were the best, because it was like, I think it was a workout day on Tuesday as well. And they always had something called a uh, Toonie Tuesday. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So we'd just take, we get $2, go get some uh, chicken tenders and some fries, then we'd bring it back to the, um, the athletic facility and then just take our ice bath while eating chicken tenders. I don't know if the uh, physios knew that, but <laughs> we used to enjoy it though. Yeah.